You know, in Virginia, we have the challenge of kind of both ends of the barbell. In Southwest Virginia, we, we've obviously got a coal industry that we need to protect. In Hampton Roads, the Navy's spending millions of dollars a year raising the piers because of the increasing and rising sea levels. We've even got businesses and churches in Norfolk that have to shut down on a regular basis because they get flooded. So what I've called for on these regulations is an, a, let's have an appropriate time to study them. And they, the administration has responded to make sure that we get appropriate input. And we've got to recognize that going forward, um, whatever environment we have, make sure that we maintain an all of the above energy policy that includes coal, gas, nuclear, solar, wind, biofuels, all of the above on a fair basis. And let's face it, uh, even if America, and I think America does need to, to take, uh, take concern about climate change, we need to recognize unless we can also get the rest of the world to act, uh, that us acting alone really won't prevent the kind of uh, challenges that we're already seeing down in Hampton Roads.